the fireman said it started in the back. It was not the curlers. You left it on. Wait a minute. You ain't firing me, are you? With relation. Honestly, I would not blame Karen for firing Pam. And truth be told, Pam should have been fired a long time ago. In the promo for next week, you know, Pam is trying to state her case. Well, hey, you know what that man said, right? The fire started, you know, in the back or behind the salon. It wasn't even, you know, the curlers that set the fire. And then she was, Karen was all, well, you still left the curlers on, Pam. Wait, am I fired? Well, first of all, it's not Pam's fault that Karen ran inside of the salon when it was on fire. So that's not on her. And we know for a fact that Pam is not fired because she will be still working at the salon in season seven. So she isn't fired. But it's just one of those things where I think I, I did the video about who's to blame for the fire. And even though Pam was not doing her job well, Karen was the one that left her in charge. So she takes a lot of responsibility there herself. Um, but yeah, I, I think Pam should be fired and replaced by someone else. Yes, she's had her moments. I mean, she single-handedly saved the salon from, you know, Karen's former employee who quit, started his own place and offered cheaper prices, taking Karen's customers. But that was about it. I mean, literally, aside from that, Pam has been nothing more than a nuisance. Yes, she has been a supportive friend from the moment Karen said she was pregnant, but the messiness she creates is just foul. Like, like I said, so even if the fire isn't her fault, which we learned last night, it wasn't at all. Even though the fire wasn't her fault, she was definitely the one who got shit started when she ran around claiming that Karen's dead, leading to everybody coming to the salon, throwing an emotional fit, Zach acting the damn fool, and well, now causing trouble in his home. But hey, just like with Karen running into the fire, not being Pam's, Pam's fault, neither was Zach's emotional reaction that wasn't Pam's fault but it was her fault that she got everybody stirred up like that so yeah I think Pam should be fired and well we know she won't be so there's that so her acting all you know like when Aaron called to apologize because he was letting her really have it her acting all well you know it wasn't my fault right well you're still fucked up so I mean I don't know why you're acting like it's kind of like um I don't know if you were it's like you it's it's like you're a little kid you know what are they what's one of the first things you get taught about the kitchen never leave a towel or washcloth on the damn stove so let's say for example you know like you're nine or 12 or something like that and there's a fire in the house and then your parents come on like what the hell happened and then it's like well i left a i left a rag on the stove on the on the uh, on the cap that was on the stove but then it turns out that the fire actually started from you know i don't know um at one of the outlets on the opposite end of the house and it's like well see i didn't i didn't really start the fire because it wasn't my fault but you still fucked up though because you left that washcloth on an open um cap and then that made the fire even worse so it's just like one of those things where pam just this was not a good Pam. This was easily the worst episode of Pam in the entirety of the sister series. But I think she should be fired. I think she should have been fired a long time ago. But we know she ain't going nowhere. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Why the hell couldn't Karen just put a more, I don't know, competent employee in charge? Like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.